Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to make this. Simple but looks cool. You can make these and use them for your website landing pages or as a showcase on your store. This is very basic, but here check it out what it would look like if you take it a step further to make something complex. I made that project for Elma, a very talented musician having some really cool music compositions that are just amazing to make visuals around. Feel free to check out her music from description or pinned comment. Let's get started. For this I indeed used a plugin called Form by Red Giant Trap Code. As once a wise man said, to make cool things you sometime have to use cool plugins. Or something like that I don't remember it was years ago. So make sure you have that. In the complex example I showed earlier, I used a lot of other methods to animate and make distortions with After Effects native plugins, not just this one trap code plugin. So that's just to open a door of possibility for you, that many methods combined you can create something that is appealing and cool. Alright let's start by changing our bits per channel settings. I will set it to 32 BPC. And if you are working with glow or bloom effects, this setting will push the look further by providing more color iterations. As you can see on my video the glow looks very good. Then make a new composition. I will keep it under 10 seconds for demo purpose. Dimensions will be 1920 by 812. Alright, now to use the plugin, you need some sort of object or a 3D model. For that I will head over to this website, which I find very cool, because it allows you to download 3D models without asking you to sign up, or making an account, which I find very pleasant when I'm working, so be sure to head over here. There are some paid models as well, but there's many free ones too. I will choose this skull model for the tutorial. Click green download button, a pop up will appear. Click the file's name to start downloading. Once you have it downloaded, you'll get multiple different files in a folder. But you just need to look for this obj file, then drag it into After Effects. I already have the same file, so no need to import this. Put it on the timeline. The text appears to indicate that trap code form is required to use it. We don't need to see this file, so just hide the layer using the I button. Add a solid. Name it form. Then put a trap code form effect. You will see a cube on your screen. Go to base form setting. And set it to obj model. Next, select the model layer under obj settings. The model should appear in a weird manner at your display. Here you see the size of this effect is divided in individual properties, which can be a hassle to change each one every time. So simply hold ALT button and click the stopwatch next to size Y. Now attach size Y to size X. Then hold ALT button and click the stopwatch next to size Z. 
Now attach size Z to size X as well. The other sizes are now linked to size X. Every time you change it the others will update. Alright, let's set up the viewing angle by heading over to world transform menu. You can increase the size to 1000 pixels to spread particle spacing more. I'm happy with this view. Right now it doesn't look much interesting, because the main magic will happen with other effects. Add an adjustment layer, call it glow. I learned this glow trick from video copilot, so let's try it, although I'm not sure if it will work on this. Put a shift channels effect to it, set first parameter to saturation. Now put a solid composite effect. Set it to black color. Put a glow effect and copy my settings. Put another glow. Then put another one. Now set the layer blend mode to screen. If you can't see blend mode simply press this button to toggle it. Alright so that doesn't work with this. I will turn the other two effects off. Also set blend mode to normal again. Right now it looks like a blob. Put a tritone effect on the form layer. And change the first and second colors to kind of land between some good looking colors. The form effect gives you rotation controls and scaling, but I find it a little complex to tweak the effect. So instead I will create a camera layer. Set the preset to 35mm. And type to 2 node camera. To animate the camera I use these camera tools. These can be used to rotate the picture, or zoom or to pan. Letter C is the shortcut key for camera tools. Press P to open camera's position. Then press Shift plus A to open point of interest as well. Add keyframes for both. Go towards the end. Add two more keyframes. Go back to the first two keyframes. Using the track Z camera tool, I will pull the object towards the camera. Then rotate the object using the camera orbit tool. Oh my good god, this looks terrifying. Once you play it, you should have rotation zoom motion. Let's add a light. Spotlight will work I think.
Now enable the light by going under shading menu. This is just to pull that second tree tone color that we put earlier on the object. Zoom out and set the light to where you think it looks good. My god, I'm sitting alone in the room. I wish I chose some different model before recording. Anyway, now you may notice that the light disappear as the object gets far from the camera. That's because the light is 3D object, it gets away from the camera the same way as the 3D model. Simply add position keyframes to the light, kind of like this. When object goes far from you the light should be coming towards you. Use position and point of interest values on light. We can also animate the intensity of light. To make sure it's not too bright at first, open this menu to see all properties including intensity. Now what if you want to make duplicates? That's simple. Select the form layer and duplicate this. The glow has increased because the duplicate is right above the original. Move it to either right or left side by tweaking world transform position value. Feel free to change colors and other settings such as particle size or rotation. Make another duplicate and push it to the right side. You can add a single color to them with a tritone effect on a new adjustment layer. Orange color looks very cool. So that's pretty much it. Of course you can spend more time tweaking effects and trying new things out, but basically that is a start point. I do hope you like it, make sure to sub, and let me know your thoughts. Be sure to check Realm as music. See you soon.